Hi, I'm Tig. I'm with Urban Force Metrics, and we're going to show you how to take a link that someone sends you for a file and get it onto your iPad or iPhone. You can also use it to get it on your computer. But the part that people often will have difficulty with if they're not familiar with iPads and iPhones is how to do that because they have a little different kind of file system than people are used to. So we'll jump right on in and say that the first thing that you'll need to make sure is that you have your iPad or iPhone set up. Um, when people first start using our software, they want to jump right in, but you have to get the device set up and that includes setting up your email in the email program. That will of course allow you to see the link that someone might send you to say, send you the, the software. So, assuming you have your, your device set up, you have your email set up, and that's not covered here, that's covered more, that's the Apple side of things. Um, we will go ahead and show you the steps for uh, getting something on your device when someone sends you a link. Um, I'll note too that people will send you links because oftentimes they're sending you a document that's too large to fit on email. If someone's just sending you something simple and small, they can just email it to you and that's great. If someone's sending you a big database of trees where there's maybe several pictures per tree, that could be really quite large and isn't going to fit in an email. And that's often why someone would send you something with a link. When we first send the software to people who are starting up, this is how we send the link. Uh, um, they will have their device and they will click on the link and go through these steps. So I am now recording my screen on my iPad here. So we'll shift over to that and you'll see that I'm going to go ahead and click on my email program and I've already sent myself an email of this Urban Forest Metrics file. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Here I go, I go click and it's going to give me this funny screen. Um, the, uh, this is a Dropbox link. Now you should know that there are other cloud services out there. There are Apple, Microsoft, all sorts of people have their own cloud services and they'll work very similarly. Um, here we have this web page that pops up with this funny little wrapped up unicorn icon. And you see there's a download button right here. And that's what we're going to select. Before I go into this, though, I'm going to note that um, this and other cloud services will act in one of two ways. Right now, I don't have the Dropbox app installed on this device, so it's going right to this web page, and I can do it all through the web page. In fact, when I go to here for the first time, it might say, hey, do you want to install the app? Hey, do you want to uh, start up a free Dropbox account? You should know you don't need to do that. If you're just looking to download one of these documents, you don't need to get involved with Dropbox. You don't need to download the app, make one of those accounts. You can just use these steps that I'm about to show you. Now, if you do want to have a Dropbox account and you've downloaded the app and it's on your device, then it will behave a little differently because when I click on that link, it's going to open up the app rather than showing you this page. So right after, we'll show you how that works. It's even simpler. Um, but for now, we're going to assume you don't want to have anything to do with one of those cloud services. You're just trying to get your file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that download button. And it asks me if I want to directly download or save to my Dropbox. That's an example where they're trying to say, hey, why don't you save to your Dropbox? Why don't you start a Dropbox account? I'm just going to say direct download. Just get me this file. So you really want to download this. I click it to say yes. And now you may have seen it happen so fast you may not have seen it, um, there's this little blue arrow now that shows up next to the URL box. You see that? If I click on it, it's going to go to my recently downloaded things. And you'll see, I've done, done this a bunch of times, and I'm going to click on that little magnifying glass next to the file I just downloaded. And it's going to bring me to my downloads folder. And I'm going to click on the document I just downloaded, and it's just going to you know, show some basic information. This is a 35.6 megabyte file. The critical thing is up in the top right, you see there is this up arrow in a box. That's the universal symbol for export or upload. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now that we've downloaded this file, we're going to export it to the application that will run it. And on we haven't described it in this video, but in the other startup videos, we'll show you how you will use the application called FileMaker Pro to 
run the database. That's the underlying database of the Urban Forest Metric System. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and select FileMaker Go and it's going to immediately just open up the file. And that's all we need to do. Um, now we're in Urban Forest Metrics and it's asking me for my username and password. I'm just sticking that on in there and boom, there we are. Files up and going. So now I'm going to show you what it would look like if you did have Dropbox installed. And it's even simpler. I Here we are on the screen. I click on my email program. I click on the link. And instead of bringing me to that website, it brings me to this application. And it shows me, the, and it highlights this one that I have just downloaded. And there is a download little icon, that circle with the down arrow that you see kind of in the top right. If I click on that, it's going to go ahead and download the document. And it happens so fast, you now see a little green down arrow on the icon of this, this uh, file. And there's a little menu icon next to that. I click on it, and it gives me a bunch of options. All I'm going to do is click the Export option there. And it's going to ask, what application do I want to open this up in? Of course, these uh, databases are opened up in FileMaker Go. So I click on the FileMaker Go icon, and boom, we are up and going. So that's how you take a link and you get it up and going on your iPad. Now, if you want to go the other way, let's say you have a file that you want to send to someone else. Of course, you are going to have to have a Dropbox account or another cloud service account where you can throw a document up onto it and send someone a link. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that. Um, now that we've just downloaded the Dropbox app onto this device, we can go ahead and do that. I will uh, go to the menu, and you see it says Show FM Menu. That's the Show the FileMaker menu. That'll give us access to this icon on the top left. That's the FileMaker uh, menu icon. And I'm going to go to what's that first item up there called Launch Center. And that shows me all the files that are on the device. And I'm going to, well, I can select any of these documents. In order to select a document, I use that little select button that's on the top right. And it gives me these little circles um, next to each of these documents. I'm just going to go ahead and send this contacts database that's up on top. I, I select it. And then you see another one of those export icons in the very bottom middle there. I click on that. And it asks me what I want to send it off in. Well, I'm going to click Dropbox. So what it asks me to do is stick in a message, put a Dropbox folder destination, and then to whom do I want to send it. So I'm going to put in the message, hi. I'm going to choose a destination. And that's just you know which folder in Dropbox we want to. I'm going to put it into my folder there. I select choose. And then who do I want to send it to? Well, I'm going to send it to myself. So there. That's an email address. And now I click on post. And it's going ahead and uploading this document to that folder in Dropbox, creating a link, and then sending that link to the email I just put in. There, we're done. So if I go back to my email, we will now have a email here that shows this file. Here it is. It now shows up in my email box with this email. Hi there. Force Metrics has just sent you this blah, blah, blah. Uh, click that button to view file, and then you can, from there, do what we showed before to get it onto your device. Down below, you should see links to additional videos um, to know how to use Urban Forest Metrics once you get it up on your device. Um, and feel free to send us an email with any questions, um, and we're happy to help.